Hey everybody, this is Craig from Nineball Games, and today is a special edition <laughs> of uh, nothing. This ain't a special edition of anything. This is a review, or a re-review actually, of uh, Splatterhouse for the Xbox 360 and the PS3. Okay. I've already beaten this game twice, and I've reviewed it on my website twice. Oh, I love this game. Okay. I absolutely love this game, and I know this is a, uh... This is a very limited fan base for this game. But the reason I wanted to go back and review this is because, well, one of you asked me, you know who you are, you actually asked me at 2.30 in the morning yesterday, <laughs> while I was in the middle of playing Virtual Fighter. Uh, and I figured I'd do it. And on top of that, I've been playing um, Lollipop Chainsaw. Lollipop Chainsaw is very comparable to this game in the fact of how cheesy it is, the way that it plays. It's kind of got the arcade level uh, structure, you know, like the old level, old level based arcade games. And uh, <laughs> the graphics pretty much look about the same. So, I mean, it is essentially. Splatterhouse. Black Pop Chainsaw is Splatterhouse, I think. Um, it's just a different presentation overall. Now, a lot of people criticize this game, and uh, they criticize it for some really dumb reasons, and I'm honestly here to say that I reviewed this game twice, and this is the concept that I came up with from a website of reviewing games twice. Once was the hype review that everybody gets excited the first week, even if you beat it in the first week, like you did with this game, you review it, you're just so amped up about it. And then a few months later, you review it again after you play it again, and if it still holds true, then it's an amazing game. I actually gave this game a higher rating the second time through. I played it twice. Um, and it's just the, the level... I, I really think it had a high level of quality for such... A low level quality game as Splatterhouse, you know what I mean? Like, Splatterhouse is a classic arcade game, we all know that. But <laughs> it's not a game you can really go back to and be, have super nostalgic feelings. I mean, you can, I guess, but you're in a limited group, like I said. Um, it's not like going back and playing Mario on NES, you know? So, I think for the fact that it's a Splatterhouse game, the quality that was put into this particular title, the 2010 one, is truly amazing. Um, I love Jim Cummings, by the way, and I even put it on my website back in 2010 that uh, Character of the Year was Terror Mask because he's fucking hilarious to the entire game. So, do a little bit of playthrough. Um, I started playing through again, 72%, right? So let's see where I was. Or I can just select a chapter, I guess. Um, oh, by the way, I gave... Terror Mask, the most badass character, just because when you beat the game all the way through and then you realize it's true intentions, it's just so, like, ridiculous. <laughs> if you beat the game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But, uh, alright, let's just continue where I was. I don't know where I was. I'm not sure where I left off. Put this mask on. You can unlock certain things as you go. You unlock Splatterhouse, the original 1, 2, and 3 um, arcade editions of it. A lot of gore in this game. Lots and lots of gore. Phase 3. In the shadow of the abyss. This is fucking junkyard style. I haven't played this in a while, so bear with me. Might be a little rusty. Take it steady. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You okay? Yeah. Good. Because then you're useless to me. What's that? It's a portal. They open up in places where the barriers of reality are weaker. Any idea where we are? Could be the past. Could be another world. That's the thing about hijacking a portal. It's a crapshoot. See if I can get something funny out of them.
Come on, you bitch. This little bastard knows what I want to do. Oh, there's nobody else around. You can basically use enemies as weapons. You know. Where the hell was I? Oh, more enemies. I'll catch somebody. I forgot about those moves. Alright. That's the basic gist of the game. Now, if that's not your type of game, the fighting over and over, the God of War style play, then you probably shouldn't play this game at all. Like I said, this game is for very limited people. However, I don't like it when people review a game like this and they're like, the combat's repetitive. Every review for a game like this is always the combat is repetitive. That is the point of the game, is the combat scenarios. Now, you can upgrade your character. It's not like what I've just shown you is it. You upgrade your character, there's a hyper mode where you basically get all your powers. Like, you start off with in the game with all these crazy powers and they get stripped away from you. Uh, a la Symphony of the... Oh, shit. Symphony of the Night. Um, but yeah, you can upgrade your character. There's plenty of unlocks. There's a lot of nude photos to unlock. Because <laughs> there's nude photos of this guy's girlfriend. Uh, the story's pretty funny and the... The voice acting is pretty hilarious. Uh, the way that Rick and the Terror Mask interact with each other, and the fact that the uh, Terror Mask is just blatantly insane, which you find out by the end of the game. He's just totally insane. There's, like, no logic between anything that he does. And even though by the end of the story there's a point in his being in existence uh, on our world, it's just so fucking over the top that it's... It <laughs> I laughed when, when I heard his reasonings for everything, but... I laughed through most of the games, everything he said. But as you see there, there's a lot of that. There's a lot of the arena style, 3D fighting mechanics, then there's occasional platforming, and then there's 2D spots, which I wish I could just go go back and select certain part of chapters, but I can't. Um, it is in 3D, but it's still side-scrolling. So it's uh, 2.5D, like Street Fighter is, and you walk along a 2D plane and you do it. It's just very limited parts of certain levels. But, uh... I'm going to get him to say something funny, I'm telling you. Oh, come on. But yeah, I think the game's great. Um, I'm going to continue playing this for about five more minutes. That will be the rest of the video. But I will tell you that uh, the game right now is under $20. Totally worth it to go get it. Um, back when I first bought this game, this is one of the first games I reviewed from my website. I had originally given it a 7 out of 10 because we were doing out of 10 scale at the time. And then when I went back and re-reviewed it, I did an 8.5 out of 10. Um, and th that's what it is. I mean, it, it, it came out the same year as God of War 3. Give it a fucking break. It's not God of War. I mean, in fact, I think God of War, it, and I love God of War, but I do think it's overhyped. And the fact that this game was Splatterhouse and, and it was so, like, cult status, when it came out, it was good. People who played it who were just like, eh, I'm just going to buy this as a throwaway game. Whatever. It was a good game. It was, it was a very good game. Maybe not worth $60 to some people, but the price dropped pretty fast in this game. And it was totally worth $30 and under, if I'm being honest. So.
taking my girl to the Eclipse Rock Festival tomorrow. I, I was going to ask her to marry me. I bought a ring. Oh, that's so romantic. Might want to hold on to the receipt. The eclipse. Another time, another place, another eclipse. This is bad, right? Yeah, Rick. It is bad. It's really fucking bad. <laughs> Yes, I remember this. This uh, goes in the 2D, I believe. Yep, this is the 2D I was talking about. I just should not be so horrible at it. I did so bad, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I forgot how to roll. <laughs> That's what I gave it 8.5 for. Load times are terrible. And the game was pretty short. That's what I ended up giving 8.5 for. The load times are terrible. Especially since I forgot how to roll. Let's... There we go. Fucking retarded. Better run, kids. Oh. Watch it. Break it down. Break it down. I like that the 2D sections even plays the classic music. Whoops. Ah. That's all I'm doing from that. Well, that was it's, bound to happen. <laughs> it's very, uh, very touchy on the 2D parts, but the game is fun. The 2D parts don't last very long. Like, I think there was maybe two more levels of that 2D area, but hey, that's what you wanted. person who requested this review. So, hopefully you liked the game. That was a very brief look at it. Um... If anybody wants to request me to go back and show you a boss fight, I would definitely show you a boss fight. They're very fun. Um, the commentary during it is very funny. But, like I said, man, the game's worth it. It's under $20. It's worth it for any system you want. And if you can get your hands on one of these, these aren't pretty bad to have in your collection. <laughs> they're actually, I think they're still a GameStop reward if you're a rewards member, but eh, who knows. Thank you guys for watching.